usak ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. The example of Mary and Elizabeth challenges us to respond with joy and generosity. Like Mary, we should share the good news of salvation with those in need. Like Elizabeth, we should thank God and the bearers of glad tidings into our lives. Our Mass presider, for today is His Grace, Jose S. Palma, Archbishop of Cebu, concelebrated with Reverend Father Jasper John Petralba. the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. nga kapuntagon sa atong aginaldo 
23 naman, no? Sunod nga, adlaw 24, Christmas. O, malipayon kita nga nagkatigom with Father Jesper, o nga itong tulog at Giacono, Reverend Abel, Reverend Raymond, Reverend Reynald. No? And all of you gathered here sa itong taong kayo ng chapel si City N, as well as those of you who might be watching the broadcast ng atong misa. Today, as we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent, we are reminded to be ever more joyful as we anticipate in a matter of two days the birth of our Lord. It is in the spirit that we gather for this Mass even as we bring to God our many concerns ang atong kalipay pagpasalamat. Even as we offer our concerns atong mga problema, atong mga pangandoy, let us believe that the God who loves us, that the God who became man, kining Santo Nino, Bato Balani sa Gugma, would continue to reveal His love for all of us. And so to prepare ourselves for this Mass, let us first call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, you have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what you have done and what you have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Chelsea's day, you. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may be his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God. And they shall remain for now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. with the 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifice and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment, the sound of your greeting reached my ears. The infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Very Reverend Father Jasper, and ato mga Jacono, Reverend Abel, Raymond Reynald. O kamong tanan na ito mga sisters and brothers, especially uh, staff sa CCTN, and you have kept coming, uh, participating sa itong Aguinaldo Masses, as well as all of you who follow sa itong Misa, who may be watching the broadcast nining atong uh, celebration of the Eucharist, kanyang tanan, mayong buntag. <laughs> o dagang salamat for continuing to make our tradition of the Simbang Gabi a truly meaningful way of preparing for Christmas. Mingun ako our tradition because we are aware that there is no Simbang Gabi in many other countries. They do not gather early in the morning. But in our country and in many other places where Filipinos have gathered, they begin to introduce no the Simbang Gabi. I, I often tell of an incident. I visited the Archbishop of San Francisco. No, we were friends. And he shared with me his pleasant surprise. Gimbitar siya to celebrate Mass at the Aguinaldo. And he was asking, what time? And they said, 4.30. And I said, in the States, there is no Mass at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> I said, Excellency, if you come, then you will see. No? And then he came, oh, the church was full packed of people. No? Just like what we are having today. No? Puno atong chapel, and we know very well. No? The Ganpaman Sao Boskay did naman mo accommodate. That's true with many other churches. No? Puno puno gida atong simbahan, and overflowing pa. And that's what happened in the States no? when uh, Archbishop Niederhauer came. So, lipay siya kay, ah, mau bakinino ang, ang aginaldo. No? So, I repeat, thank you so much no, for, for participating. Mga inigugma, now we are more aware that when we gather, especially in the readings, we would have encountered the many people who are part in God's preparation for the birth of Jesus. The second day, we were presented with the genealogy from Abraham, of course, to David, from King David to Babylonian captivity, from Babylonian captivity up to the birth of Jesus. And all throughout, the, the gospel reading would sometimes focus, sometimes on Mama Mary, sometimes on St. Joseph, sometimes on Zechariah. No? And today, as well as the previous two days, the focus is on Mama Mary and Saint Elizabeth, including Saint John the Baptist. These are the people, of course, who have a special role in, in the birth of Jesus. Again, we are now more aware that when it is Aguinaldo, the, the vestment is either white or blue because 
we prepare for Christmas in commemoration especially of Mama Mary, no? Mama Mary, uh, her very important role no? in, in the birth of Jesus. And of course, in the Aguinaldo, we sing the, the Gloria, no? and the vestment is either white, no? or as we said, blue. After this, no? we reverse to the violet, no? okay, Advent Paman, no? and there is no more Gloria. No? Uh, it's only in the Aguinaldo. No? It's a beautiful tradition. I'm sure the guy na kita mga pamalandong and and even this passage of the visitation of Mama Mary to her cousin Elizabeth no? could bring out you know, a, a lot of reflections. No? And uh, we are always invited to reflect on the message of, of the word. No? Pero sa karon, just as an invitation, no? I, I'd like you to enter into the the spirit of the church. Uh, why we reflect on the readings of Mama Mary's visitation to her cousin Elizabeth. I think the main invitation is is the spirit of the visitation, which is rejoicing. No, ang ilang ang ilang kalipay. No? We can almost picture Mama Mary and and Elizabeth uh, happy. No? And and that's what the church invites us today. No? Dapat, dapat malipayon, malipayon kita. No? Nganuman. Of course, on our part, is because what we had been waiting for, apit na lang, no? ang Christmas, the celebration of the birth of the Lord. I was in United Arab Emirates no? and uh, for the charismatic renewal, the... Icris, no, the celebration of the charismatic renewal in the Ocea and Oceania. And uh, the bishop was saying, as bishop, I understand, no, in the Philippines, you prepare long for Christmas. I know that the season of Christmas starts in er, no, September, no, October, November, no, and December. No. And I said, in fact, I understand. Uh, September 8th, no, birthday ni Mama Mary, no, September naman, you already prepared for Christmas. No? It is no surprise to hear already Christmas songs. No? And di, salamat sa Diyos, no? basta, basta we prepare, no? we prepare. So karon dool na lang, no? dool na lang kay. Huwag ma, di ano na, 24, no? di, siyempre sunod, 25, no? malipa yun kita. Where does this joy come from? Uh, I will underline two things. No, kining kalipayuna. It's in the. It's in the way like Elizabeth no, or, or Mary. Look at the workings of God. Look at the, the past with gratitude. No, mapinasalamaton sila and the goodness of the Lord. That's why malipayon. No, and of course. It's also on the way they look forward to the future with hope. No? So like they look to the past uh, events no? with gratitude. And like John the Baptist, no? they look to the future with hope. Let me just underline a few things because I wish that Kitagi no may look at the past with, with gratitude. No? Of course, you could imagine Elizabeth, no? why would the mother of the Lord come to me? No? Yeah, but the angel told you is true, no? Tiguang nagig ko, no? But God is so good to me, no? God gives me, you know, a, a son, a child, no? So, nindot kayo, no? And I'm sure you would you would almost imagine ang iyang kalipay sharing with Mama Mary, no? How, how, no, the child in her womb, no? The, the future Saint John the Baptist, no? Uh, was revealed and eventually gradually formed, no? The kalipay, no? And of course, Mama Mary, on her part, would have said, Ako mangane, no? I'm a simple girl. I never imagined that, that the angel would tell me, no? I would be the mother of the one who would be called Emmanuel, no? And that's why also to check whether, you know, in a sense, no? Is, is it true what the angel said, no, that, that you are six months pregnant, no? And he said, yes, the now one, no? And uh, you can just imagine that, that joy, no, the, the goodness of the Lord, no? Kining kalipay, and 
and and what God has done uh, for them. So so my my first invitation nato is to, to look at to look at ourselves, no? to look at the past, to look at what God has done to us no? in gratitude. No? Because uh, in that sense, no, we we would be happy. No? We would be, be grateful. Uh, I say this because as an example lamang no. Uh, when I was when I was in the seminary, you know, uh, of course like at the seminary fathers, Father Jesper, etc. I, I always go home in Christmas, no? or home on Christmas, like after the Christmas Mass, 25 so afternoon or 26, no? But now I'm not going home, no, kay naghan mga activities din, no? <laughs> But also because uh, I, I went home uh, second week of December, na, nga naman, because it was the anniversary of my classmate, na. Let me just cite two, two, two experiences to show that we should be grateful, no? for what God has done in the past. No? I mean, we look to the past, we look at what that God has done with gratitude. No? Uh, first mind, no? very briefly, na I must have told the story once. No? After graduation from high school, our principal asked me, Palma, no? what, do you, what do you plan to take up no? in college? My answer was engineering, no kay. Akong favorite subjects, math, geometry, algebra, physics, na. The area of the numbers, na. Anyway, so, momo gid akong plano engineering, no. Pero, to go to my point, na. Uh, we, I have a very close friend, na. Ang iyang alan kay natawo sa June 24, iyang alan Juan Bautista, no. Kay June 24 man iya birthday, na. So, Bautista, I mean, ayo. He said, Joe. Masulod ko si Manario, kuyog ta, no? Ang una-una ako, masulod-sulod dito, no? Kay ikaw malamay gana, no? Huwag ako maguna-una ang engineering ko, no? But, but he went to our house, o oh, gingna niya si, si Papa, no? The following day, my father said, I did not know that you and Bautis have plans to enter the seminary. Nga, no? Nga, huwag ka man mag-sulti timprano pa, no? Hingon ko, pahamak ni si Bautis, nga. Siya malamay plano, nga, no? Ingnon si Papa, nga, duwami, no? No, I told my papa, I said, well, testingan lang na mo pa, testing. I said, no, dili, mayo kining testing, testing, no. No, una, pagayo, no. If you, if you believe, no, you have the calling, no. Then you enter, ayaw, kining testing, testing, ha, dawa mo siguro, no. So I reflected, and to make the long story short, no, I prepared uh, requirements. But the funny thing is, that year, 1966 in June, no, as I prepared, no, I shortcut na lang, no. Nakita na may mga weeks before the entrance, no? He said, Gutis, preparado na ako. Akong tarang documents dito na. Ang nga nabato siya ko na, Hagi, wa pa ako kapreparar, no? So that year, ako lang nagsulod, no? I was the only one who entered the seminary. Siya wa magsulod, no? Yung ko naman kinig mga kwano, no? And the rest is history, no? So, siyempre ako nagpare. So I said, that's God's plan, no? About my, why did I go home last December? Kay... Kining among classmate, uh, in the middle of the year, no, graduating na may fourth year na may, no, may mga kasokaso ba sa seminaryo, may mga classmate kami nga ginpagawas, no. Hindi kami sure sa rason, basta they were decided nga, nga kick out na ba, no, hindi na kamo magpadayon, gawas na kamo, no. So, you know, no, mag kami sala ba nga angay pagawason. Anyway, basta ginpagawas, no. Hala, hala. Pastoral work like mo, no? Dugay na sila sa parokya, no? One year. So, ito yung among sala ang ipagawas kami. Ano man ini, no? Ah, hulat lang ka mo, diya, no? Kung ano, second year, no? Ah, hulat lang ka mo, no? Kung wak mo kasiguruhan. One day he decided, kung wak mo yung kasiguruhan, pagkatun nalang ko sa obispoing noon nga, Your Excellency, kung sa may may decision, no? Then, sugot lang ko kay... Daw ang mga kumig siguro kung ano daw, hindi magani kami kung kung saya mong sala ba, no? So, as he was crossing the plaza, no? Mga to sa Archbishop's house, no? He met another seminary ang naging pagawas man. Ang ngunit niya, I will not mention the name. Blessing in eh, nga naman. Bago lagi ako nagaling sa obispo, ano man, ang ngunit nga, nagsulat ang Roma, nga itong naging pagawas, pabalik ko na, no? Pwede mo ordinahan, no? 
Aki ko lumayo laki na una ka. O kung wala kita magsugat ay, o na istorya na ko, bispo nga di na ko. Pingon sa alawa ka magana di, okay lang, no? Pero karon pag abot na ko dito, yung nun ko, may gana gay ko, as bishop, no? Kaya pwede naman maordinahan. That's why yung ordinahan siya, no? December 21, no? Mao nga, ingon niya. Tapos may mag-anibersaryo ko, no? Kay Aguinaldo man itong mga December 21, December 11 na lang, no? Aron nga wa pa Aguinaldo. So we we were gathered there, no? Dagan me for parang Palawan, Bacolod, Iloilo, no? So, remembering the past, no? With with joy and gratitude, no? I, I share this, Aron, today, no? To invite us. No? Sa hay, sa kinabuhi, no? Ang atong ipaminsar, problema, no? Tanan mo kita may problema, no? But it's always good to recall how God has done marvels, no? His His love to us, no? with gratitude. Amen. No? Introduction, pala ini, ah. <laughs> so remember, recalling the past with with gratitude, no? Kay magdala ba nato kalipay, no? Kay mapinasalapaton kita. If I think of Cebu, no, just a few things, no, in in the in the communitarian level, no. Nasay na ko sa Leyte, no? Sa Leyte, no? After may assignment in Samar, no? Sa Leyte, no? Magsuroy ka sa Leyte, huwag kagidog makita ang cultural heritage church. Nga naman. Ibumbahan man mga simbahan dito, di ba? No? Igo ugit na, no? Huwag kagidog ingon yun din na itong kadaghan, no? We have listed mga 58 cultural heritage nga either simbahan kumbinto, no? Di lang natin sa isa kay magtaas mo si Ramon. Kamao naman kita when we travel from the city down to Sambuan, Ugliko, no? Ha, pagkanindot mga simbahan, cultural heritage churches, beautiful, no? Beautiful, di ba? No? Leitiwa, no? I said to myself, even that, no? Angay na itong pasalamatan si Lord, no? Angay na itong pasalamatan kay tinuod, no? We have... We have people who come from other places, and even now, no, also also, naman ang mga religious tourism, no, mga to sila, no, kay kay magtanaw sa atong mga religious heritage, no, labi na if we look back, no, 1521, no, kay Cebu man sunod sa Manila, no, ang pinaka oldest nga diocese, no, 1595. I was in Manila, no. December 10 and the anniversary of the consecration of the cathedral. No, kay isulatan nako. Imagine nga iniro palang no. Last January, sulat na kasi si Cardinal Tagle. Ingon niya, Your Excellency, no, 60 years ago your predecessor, no, Cardinal Rosales, no, during the consecration of Manila Cathedral, the was present. So ikaw. Kinsikrit nga po sa kaaltar, no? In memory of Cardinal. Ingon ni ba? Ang akong point, so, nindot nga daghang kitang mga cultural heritage, no? Sometimes we take for granted. Pero kung, kung in some places nga wa kag makita ang cultural heritage, para, para you, you feel, you appreciate, no? The, the blessing of the Lord. Amen? Or if you think of example, no? 2012, no, ang canonization ni San Pedro Kalungsod, no. We are privileged sa Philippines duha pa man lamang, no. Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Kalungsod. I'm sure in the future, but meantime, no, Cebu, no, should feel blessed. Tungo tungo ni ni, no. We should look at the past with gratitude, no. And of course, back back in the past no? nga no man nga dinigid mga tuo no mga katsila no nga no man nga now no people will say Magellan's cross and of course uh, they will argue on the first mass but first baptism dinigid sa Cebu no i'm sure no that that is a big event sometimes we take this for granted i was in guam last year i'll be back sa celebration sa tuninio ng nila nyo imbateragid kami no kay sakop man kami sa Cebu sadto no Guam, no, was part of Cebu, and we said, invite us for the fifth centenary, di ba? And so, we have all of this, no? And of course, the gift of the Senor Santonino, no? Nga naman nga din, eh, basta sa plano sa Diyos, that's why we should look at the past with gratitude, no? Even as a people. Amen? Amen.
No? Dapat malipay yun kita, no? At nun siya, pag-abot niya, tawag siya, siya, Palma, yes. I know that there is a joyful celebration in Cebu, Senor Santo Nino. He said, yes. May I attend? I said, welcome, no? Abot siya Sabado, Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Merkulis, Webes, Bernes, Sabado, Domingo, no? Ah, usagin siya sa mga natin sa Cebu, no? <laughs> Ay, nag-join uh, sa Santo Nino, o dinay pa man naman si BCP, no? Hindi si Archbishop Katsya, no? Mali pa yun, no? Kay pag-abot niya, November siya nag-abot, December, Santo Nino da yun, no? Ay, so, ang akong point, no? Sometimes in the midst of ato mga problem ba no una una lagi kita problema pag bata sa kabuntagon problema na yawa na ino yawa ginuo salamat sa Dios no look at the look at the blessings no like 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 Elizabeth no like like Mama Mary amen and of course half pala do kay look at the past with gratitude pa lang no jobs and of course like John no at the in the womb of his mother no he he, he danced no like david for joy he jumped for joy no? but at the man he look at the future excited siya no with hope no with hope no? and also mao gihapon unta ang akong invitation nato no as we look to the future unta no we are we are filled with hope no to hope means to believe no taliwala sa ato mga experiences no that there's something good no that good is coming no in in the future amen no? to hope is to believe that the good god no who has given us many good things bisan pa part of our life our concerns and problems still have good things no for us in in the future amen mao nga unta no Uh, we do not deny the problems, the concerns, but we should also be hopeful. No, mo ato gaying on. No, de ba ang atong theme sa Eucharistic Congress? No, Christ in you, our hope of glory. No, nindot kayo ngano man ngano ng hopeful kita, because Christ is in us. No, kung kung atong ko guling on atong saligan tingale ingon ta di na to kaya no to face the concerns no but because god is with us because christ is in us no then siya siya good ang atong kusog amen no and he is our light and he is our peace no and that's why we are hopeful no tungod kay god is with us tungod kay uh, the santo nino is with us Tungod kay siya batu balani sa gugma. Tungod kay Mama Mary loves us. Amen. Amen. Naglabay nga December 21, alas 3. Nagmisa mi sa city jail, no. Mga mga 5,000 siguro nga mga priests o mga inmates, no. Uh, enjoy enjoy lami kay nindot sila manganta, no. Bungga gud no sus so, mga tinagasak la mga drum og mga gitara no kay charismatic man ang kwan no charismatic man ang mga ang songs ba no so enjoy kay talag sa la misa so, so bigay gud no uh, but why do i mention that no eh in ang istorya ma me iring na your dinhi me pro nagpabot me sa adlaw nga unta no tungod sa plea bargain ba no bisan pa do nga mga natukhang no after some seminar magawas na no? after some seminar no makagawas and their hope is tungod kay antes sila magawas no dito na sulod sa prisuan gihatagan na sila rehabilitation no may may mga lecture ba may mga pam, may mga lecture rehab program no sa mga drug ad, mga addicts no kay kay ngano man ingon nila kay kuy mo lini pagawson og ingnon nga magatin natin og mga kwan once a week di ninimotin no mabalik na lang ni Skarsada no pero kun diha pa lang may seminar na then they are given the tools no to 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 look into themselves and to convince no change is possible no change for the better is possible no and they believe that no kay dagang testimony so kung sila gani nga mga addicts makaingon No, they are hopeful. No, kita gihapon. No, eh, 
sa may ato mga concern, we believe no? because God is with us, then no? we can look at the future with hope. No? We can believe good things are coming. Amen? Katapusan na lang. No? Katapusan, no? <laughs> uh, Pariyog pag-am po, no, nga, as we prepare for 2021, no? many more blessings no? will come for us and for our country. If we think of it na lamang, no? next year, or even we started the year of the youth, kita man gani mag-host sa National Youth Day, no? April 23 to 25. Just as we hosted IEC, no? O para na to, when we look back, makaingon kita, no? Tagahan lang yung trabaho. But we look back, kay malipayon kita, no? We hosted, o daghan na lipay, no? Daghan na kaingon, they were blessed. Kita sad nga, nag-host, were blessed. Amen? The same will happen, no? When we host National Youth Day. The same will happen when we host Iba pa nga mga celebrations. Kaya din naman sa Cebuang Center. No? So, kita yun mag-host. We believe kining mga events will become sources of grace. Alang natong tanan. We have reasons to hope. Amen? Sa karon nagampo mi, nagampo ta, o ampo kitang tanan. We invited the Holy Father, Prodita Siguro. But who knows, no? Kung pananglit iyang dawaton nga muani, 1521, para na ito, dako kayo, nga grasya. Amen. Kita gihapon maos, daghang trabaho. No? But it's not the work. It's also the joy no? of celebrating 500 years, grasya ni Lord, beginnings or Christianity, pagtuo sa Pilipinas. Amen. And so dear brothers and sisters, today the church invites us no, to be joyful, like Mary, like Elizabeth, like John the Baptist. We look to the past with gratitude. We look to the future with hope. And because God is with us, then sayod kita, kineng atong mga paglaom, no? doon ay rason, no? doon ay foundation. Kanyang tanan nga naghatag panahon, Osmonaco, no? for our simbang gabi. Daghan kayong salamat, na? Let us believe that our preparation would really be a source of blessings for all of us. O karon pa lang, no? Kay, uh, di naman kita makatimpo, no? For the Christmas Mass, no? So, on the part of the Asdaisis, o on my own, I just would wish to greet you all, no? Unta, malipayon, nga pagsaulog, pagkatawa sa ginoo, o unta, malinawon, nga bagong tuig. Amen. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial by the Father, through whom all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, where the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, as spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess with baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and then look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us lift our intentions to God, O Father, so that like Mary and Elizabeth, we may welcome our Savior with joy and open our hearts to his saving word. With confidence we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. May our government leaders be sensitive to the needs of the people and hear the cry for just, transparent, participatory and caring government. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all of us respect and defend the rights of the unborn. Be sensitive to the situation of pregnant women and provide better opportunities for younger Filipinos, we pray. May families and friends who come together this Christmas feel more united, more supportive of each other, and more generous with understanding and forgiveness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Filipino youth become more instrument of hope, reconciliation, and unity to everyone, and especially in this year of the youth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayer of your people. Strengthen our weak knees and fickle hearts that we may receive you with joy and renewed strength through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
brethren, let my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise and glory of His name. For good and good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as if filled with His power, the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he come, when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
here for us to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, together with all the bishops, the clergy, and the religious everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I should enter the mirror of I don't see the word of his soul.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Angelus Domine, non shavit Marie. Oremus, 
Grazie a tutti, 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 a The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his second coming, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Response. Amen. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Response. Amen. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Response. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Go in peace. sa itong kalipay at agayan na itong ginawa, Mama Mary. Cristo. Sangalan sa atong archidiocesis, ikalipay ko pagbati ninyong tanan malipayon nga Pasko o pagkatawo sa atong ginoong Iso Cristo. Makainumdum ka mo naglabay nga November 25. Igis sa ulog nato ang closing sa Year of the Clergy and consecrated persons nga ang tema renewed servant leaders for the new evangelization ang mong closing mao gihapon ang opening of the new year of the youth with the theme the youth in mission beloved gifted and empowered. Kining pagsugod sa Year of the Youth, ikapito na nga tuig 